I had a way then Losing it all on my own I had a heart then Hey guys, Dominator Mods here. Uh, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to get Extortion uh, SPRX menu. Uh, since the new 1.24 update came out, we're unable to use uh, script menus. Um, there was a release of the new Extortion, which is probably the next best thing to Endeavor. Um, I had an eboot um, done up that will actually allow you guys to play this and not have to be in system software mode as long as you're on DEX. Um, Kex, sorry guys, I don't have an eboot that'll do that. Um, I don't even know if if it does that for you guys, but um, yeah. So let's just get on with the video. Uh, I'm gonna provide links in the description to the extortion mod menu. Now this has the Kex eboot, but the Kex eboot, like I said, is in release mode as far as I know. This Dex eboot I replaced. Okay, this um, eboot is one that I had made that actually keeps us in system software or system yeah system software mode instead of release mode which is a huge pain in the ass so if you guys aren't on dex i suggest you just swap to dex um i'm using 470 rebug uh drx rebug and it seems to work fine for me so let's get on with the video here and uh i'm gonna move on here now, first thing you're going to do is download the extortion menu with the eboot from the link that I provide in the description. Or you can go to the um, next gen link and get it from there. So, first we're going to open up FileZilla and put our IP. And connect okay we're gonna go to dev underscore hdd0 game bless 01807 now you guys I'm going to also provide the original update RPF and original eboot bin as a link just in case you guys screw up and, um, and need to do so or you know you're still running old scripts all you really gotta do is just update to 1.24 but um let's say you've tried to use scripts and realize they're not working that there's no bypass or you just wanted to play in the modders pool or whatever these will be in the description now what you do here is you're gonna drag my eboot oops Sorry about this. You drag my eboot right into FileZilla right there. You're gonna click OK. It's gonna take a minute to transfer here. Okay, and we're almost done here. Now, once this is done sending, we're going to back out of here again, and one more time till we're right here where you see the game and games folder. Scroll down here to the TMP folder, and you are going to drag this GTA, extortion GTA.sparks in here, and then click OK. Now, another thing, guys. If you guys want to use, uh, let's say, Riptide or someone else's Sparks menu, you can still do that. All you need to do is just rename the Sparks to Extortion GTA dot Sparks, just like it's written here, and it'll still work. It'll be your um, like Riptide menu, just renamed to Extortion dot Sparks, so it still opens it up. So keep that in mind. All right, now that this is done. We can close out files though in this. We can come over here and hold on, I gotta click the button. Alright. Um, let's use this one. Oops, 
trying to make this full screen here. I forgot how to do it. I think it's right here. Nope. Alright, whatever. It doesn't want to go full screen. Sorry, guys. So, just to show you, I am in system so software mode. See right here, boot mode set to system software mode and not release mode. Okay, we're going to come over here and sign in. And we're going to load GTA 5. Don't mind the fan going. My computer, I don't, I, I, I don't know why, but whenever I use my Elgato, it makes my fan go crazy. I think really it's using the Elgato and the um, Microsoft Expression at the same time. I don't know. I'm thinking about swapping over my uh, computers here and using my my um gateway pc and just um buying a game capture software for it instead of using the elgato Now, I'm going to cut this video short at the end. I'm just going to show you that it is working online. And then I'm going to cut the video. And I'm going to do a preview of the mod menu. That way you guys get an idea of what it does have on it. And how to use it for some of you guys that have never used a mod menu before. So, thankfully, with this new update, we no longer have to sign in the way that we did before. The sign in, sign out crap you can just go straight to online and it'll uh, it'll go right on I have had a couple timed out sessions not sure why but about 99 percent of the time it does go straight online with no problems You guys can look forward to several more videos. I finally made my site, the A Drive account, and um, uploaded a bunch of my my um, programs and firmwares and all that stuff, and shared them publicly so that you guys can get the links easily and not have to spend hours upon hours on um, Skype with me trying to download each file individually. Um, it was beginning to become a pain. I hope this helps. Okay. Hate the damn load time on this game. It's got to be the worst game for load time ever. kind of miss my Alienware to be honest with you I never had this problem with it just the only bad thing about it was it didn't have a disk drive and the screen was too small for my liking I think the next computer I buy is just gonna be an Alienware XPS or something like that 
Okay, here we go. We're online, and as you can see, I am with other players. Okay, now I'm going to open up the mod menu for you. Uh, you open this one up by clicking R1 and right on the D-pad, and see, there you go. Extortion GTA menu opened up. Let's get out of this bed here. I'll just go over real quick. There we go. Oh, had to go into my closet, right? I'll just teleport a few places that way you guys can see. There you go, as you can see, I'm online, the menu works. Um, hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like and uh, comment if you have any issues. Or you can add me to Skype. It's the same as my YouTube mate, name, Dominator Mods. Um, please share the video so that we can get, get out and uh, keep growing, guys. Appreciate all the subs and all the likes and feedback that you guys have been giving me. Until the next video, guys. Peace.